Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Do you remember Docling? Docling is one of the finest tools out there to simplify document processing, parsing diverse formats including PDF understanding and we have covered Docling a lot on the channel. This new model, small Docling is based on that and that is why I am quite excited to locally install it and then try it out on various tasks to see how this model works. This model is a multimodal image text to text model that has been designed for efficient document conversion. As I said, it is based on Docling and it retains the Docling's most popular feature like it does doc tagging for efficient tokenizing. It has got pretty good OCR, optical character recognition, and it also preserves the document structure and document element bounding boxes. It can even detect and format code blocks, including identification, and we will also test it out when we get it installed. Plus, it can identify and process mathematical expressions. It can extract and interpret chart data. It also supports column and row headers from the table extraction, and it can differentiate between figures and graphical elements. You can also do the captioning and tagging and labeling with it and it can also link those captions to relevant images and figures. You can also use this model to structure and then organize and group elements correctly from a web page or of course in the image format and it can even process entire pages for comprehensive document conversion. Now let's try to get it installed and then we will see how it works. Let me also give a huge shout out to Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description plus I am also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50%. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let's start by creating a virtual environment with Conda. And now let's install all the prerequisites which include torch transformers and towards the end you can see that I'm also installing Docklink Core. This is going to take a couple of minutes. Meanwhile, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenPot. iGenPot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. And now let me launch my Jupyter Notebook. And now let's download the model after importing all the libraries. And the model is being downloaded. I think it's already done actually. It's a very very small model, just 256 mil. And if I show you the size, the size is just over 500 meg, so pretty good. And now let's do the inference. So for the inference, what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to give it this image of some English text from my local system. And then we are putting it in our prompt uh, or chat template. And we are generating the output from the model after tokenizer tokenizes it. And then we are getting the output from the model, decoding it back. And then we are putting it in the document. And after the document is created, we are simply converting it to a docling one. And then we are exporting it as a markdown. We can also export it as a HTML or instead of exporting, we can also save it onto our local system. So first up, let me run this. And there you go, this is a raw output which it has produced here as a markdown as you can see. So if I just display, this is a text which it has converted to markdown. And if I quickly show you my VRAM consumption, I'll just clear it or maybe I'll just run it again. There you go, so it is just consuming touch over 1000 gig. So you can easily run this on your CPU. You don't even have to have a GPU for this model to run. And I have just converted it into Markdown um, to display. And you can see that now it is displaying it in the Markdown format. And if you want to export it as an HTML, you can simply just do export to HTML. 
and then you can see that it is going to export the html there you go so not only it has given us the text but it has also given us the whole stuff around body and heading and all that stuff there you go with all the html tags here and as i mentioned earlier it can also extract the formula so for example if this is uh, the math equation or expression and if you run it it is going to extract and there you go very quick and it has done it nicely nine minus three divided by a fraction one by three yep so spot on very correct answer okay next up let's do the table extraction so i'm just giving it this table where we have some columns and rows for key pharmacy journals i already have given it the image path let's run this let me also display this so we could see it is going to convert it into markdown there you go look how good that looks and if you quickly match the numbers it has done perfectly fine here and also all the spellings seem totally correct with all the full stops and commas so i think really good answer okay so and similarly for example if i just comment this markdown and then uncomment this html let's see how it looks in html so it should produce some table tags and all that stuff and rows tr something like that there you go so all the html is there and this is a table and all body and everything is there and all the values are also there good so very correct okay next up i'm giving it this chart and i'm asking it that convert this page to docling and also analyze the chart i'm not sure if it can do the analysis or not because it's such a small model i think it does only one thing but no harm in pushing the limit so let me run this let's go down so i'm just going to sorry i'll just do the markdown so that it will be easier to read what exactly it does in terms of this so let's run it let's go down yeah no nah. so it hasn't really done anything there i'll just go back up so and i'm just going to remove this so it can't really do the analysis it's not really a vision model it only um, does this document conversion that's it and then uses the power of toggling anyway so let's run this again and then there you go now this time it has given us the data from that chart and looks uh, quite okay to me because um, it has i believe it has given everything what was needed from that chart okay so pretty good i would say now i just want to quickly test its multilinguality so i am just giving it this paragraph where we have english we have some european languages we have hindi we have arabic we have chinese and it is working on it so let's see if it is able to do the multilingual extraction and there you go it has tried to do it but as soon as it encountered um, the word in in any other language other than european i would say it just started hallucinating and you can see that and it took long time by the way so i think it is not multilingual at all so that's it let me know what do you think about this i will drop the link to it in video's description play around with it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching